Hi, and welcome to uh, part one of our video series to talk about how our granite marketing program works. Um, first, here we're going to talk about um, Granite Makeover. Granite Makeover is our consumer facing uh, website. Uh, that this website um, ha it is used to drive the consumer and manage the consumer's expectations, providing uh, various different um, ways for the consumer to reach out to you um, and answer many of the questions that they will have, um, you know, through their buying process. We customize this website in the local market to represent your company. Uh, by showing off your work and the quality and craftsmanship that you provide. Uh, we customize the interface to represent the offers and, and, and different ways to position you in the local landscape um, with, your, you know, with your competitors and creating your competitive advantage and associating that to the colors um, that you're offering within those offers as well as the additional colors that you may offer. Um, this whole site is designed to help the consumer move themselves through the buying process under the guise of your brand. Um, they can come onto the site, they can use the kitchen designer uh, to make some of those design decisions that they uh, may not have been able to make on their own, um, changing the colors um, of the, you know, the different granites that they would like, um, associate those to various different wall colors, um, and using the cabinet colors, um, you know that they will have or do um, plan to have, um, you know, for their kitchen. Um, this gives us, you know, uh, the ability for you to move them through that process on your website as well as using this application in in your showroom um, can save time out in the slab yard looking at very different various different slabs and colors. You really focus on the right. Um, right direction for them. Um, we also have an instant estimator application uh, where the con you know the consumer themselves can come in, put in the dimensions of the various pieces of their countertop, um, put in measure those lengths in inches, uh, set up which ones are walls, edges, and appliances, um, backsplashes, etc. And then they can move through the next step of this process. I'm just going to skip adding in all those details and put in the square footage. Um, here they have the ability to, to get some kind of generic pricing, which is uh, what we find nationally as average for remnants, less popular stones, leftovers, stuff like that. Uh, level one would be high demand, um, you know, uh, common colors, uh, easily accessible. Um, and then the, uh, another price point is this, um, you know, higher demand, but less typically uniform colors. Um, and then any special pricing that may not um, they may have seen where they can associate that offer. Here they can make some other uh, assumptions based on pricing um, as well as uh, define if it has a sink cutout or not. Uh, this is typically a higher number trying to cover some of these other ancillary fees so that the the ballpark pricing that we're going to give them is in the you know is relative to what you'll actually come out with. And then um, you know the various different sales tax. Uh, then we proceed to price. Uh, here's where we need to collect that various information um, to, you know, for the lead itself. And they agree that this is a non-binding with any party um, involved. Where they then would seek, you know, if they're truly interested, then they'll seek the um, assistance of a professional such as yourself. Um, when you click Show Me the Estimate, what that's going to do is it's going to generate an email to you. Uh, to your sales force and it's also going to generate an email back out to um, the consumer where they're going to get an estimate ID. I'm just going to grab one um, that I have in here already uh, and we can take a look at um, that the customers put in the sizes of the countertop uh, calculated 36 square feet on that one piece they added a second piece gave them additional square footage um, and comes out with a 6% sales tax giving them a total of this. Um, so essentially this is giving giving them a ballpark estimate so that they're able to move themselves through that next step of the process all the while providing you with some valuable contact information. So stay tuned, you're going to have some additional segments where you can learn about the next steps or the next phases of how our system really works to help you leverage and, and, and dominate the local market. Thanks for watching.